So create this hole, goes down the horizon, create the horizon, goes down, and the star is still there. Remarkably, uh, millions of years later, the star is still there, okay? But remember, times depend on what you are. Star is just... Um, so this is us falling down, okay? Uh, we don't fall down all the way. We, we're not going to get to the star. It's far, far away. We have got to fall, fall down, and uh, everything is closing around us. Uh, slower and slower and slower, and uh, we're going to be crushed. But uh, remember, we, we are mind traveling. We're not doing this for you. So uh, uh, imagine that we're so strong that we resist this, uh, this pressure. Uh, the space is closing around us. We've been pulled in this direction, crashed in this direction. At some point, uh, the space around us becomes very, very, very small. What's going to happen next? That's where I want you to get at. Because everything I've said so far is uh, um, things we know very well. We have very high confidence in it. All this follows from uh, the theory of Einstein, general relativity, written in 1915, uh, uh, which uh, has predicted these black holes, and we have seen the black holes exactly as it was predicted, has predicted gravitational waves, and we have seen the gravitational waves, has predicted the expansion of the universe, and we have seen the expansion of the universe, has predicted the Mercury to behave in that way that uh, contradicts the, the, the Newton equation, and Mercury behaved. So we have enormous confidence in, the, in, this, uh, uh, in this theory. And the theory tells us not only that black holes exist, but also what happened inside, and also what happened to the very uh, moment in which everything is going to get uh, squeezed, but not next. Why? Because the more we are squeezed, the more we are pressured, the more there is a curvature, because the space is curved, and we know that when we are in that conditions, we cannot disregard quantum mechanics anymore. Quantum phenomena become crucial. 1915, Einstein writes this theory, uh, which is our best theory, the most beautiful theory of all physics, uh, said Lev Landau, uh, the theory of general relativity, space and time. In 1916, Einstein writes a paper in which he says, of course, my theory, it's wrong, because it disregards quantum phenomena. And uh, uh, the, the, li the last line says in, in, uh, in, in German, the neue gravitation theory must be corrected because of quantum phenomena. So, he knew, and we know, that uh, the theory is incomplete. It doesn't describe what happened to uh, space and time when curvature is so high. So there, we don't have Einstein theory anymore, which means that we lost our guide. We don't know anymore what, what's going to happen. Dante, when he goes down into hell, goes all the way through, and then uh, um, all through his path is guided by Virgil, in, in, in his poem, and he's very much attached to Virgil because Virgil explained him how to do, what's, what everything happened. Uh, Dante's afraid of being in hell, They're all the devils and so on, uh, and Virgil tells him what to do. And, but at some point, Virgil says, I cannot accompany you more because I don't have the right to go to paradise. And so Dante's alone, not in an easy place, on the other side of the universe. And uh, he's on his own. And we are on our own, down there. In the, that's, we, we don't have a, a theory anymore that tells us what, what to do. So how do we behave when we lose our stars that tell us our masters? And I think that's, that's beauty of life, perhaps. Uh, when we are on our own and we lose our master, our guide, that's when Dante says, qui si parla la tua nobilitate. Here's where you're going to show what you're capable of doing. Um, I've spent all my life, and that's why I wanted to take you to the center of black hole, trying to construct a theory with other, with many colleagues, of course, uh, to understand what is the quantum, how are the quantum properties of gravity. So to change the theory <coughs> of Einstein, general relativity, to Take, keep into account the quantum phenomena. And the theory I've developed with 
colleagues, it's a loop quantum gravity, which is a tentative theory of quantum gravity. What tentative means that um, we haven't yet uh, made measurement, observation, to confirm that that's a good theory, like we have so much for general relativity. And I think it's crucial when scientists talk today to distinguish um, what we know with confidence from our speculations. Okay? It's wonderful to speculate. That's what scientists are supposed to do. This is what a place like that is it, it, it's meant to be for. To think and try to think where we don't know. Um, and um, walk a little bit outside the realm of our knowledge to learn something new. So to go through that um, final passage, which is called the singularity, the singularity is not the center of the black hole, the singularity is what's going to happen when everything shrinks down, we need quantum gravity. Okay, so what is quantum gravity telling us? What is loop quantum gravity telling us in particular? Loop quantum gravity is a, is a quantum theory uh, so, like all quantum theories, uh, it predicts two things, which are going to be crucial here. One is that um, things are granular. Light, um, we can describe light to some precision as a wave, continuous, but to a better precision, uh, light has a granular structure, it's made by photons but it's particles of line. Um, line arrives on my hand, uh, sort of depositing energy continuously, but if I make precise measurement, what really happens, I see little dots, one after the other one coming. In fact, if we dim the light, if we dim the light and we have a precise screen, that's exactly what we see. We see one dot forming, another dot forming, another dot forming. This is the grain, the photons, one by one arriving. So this is granularity and all things. That's all over quantum mechanics. The energy of harmonic oscillator is granular, one, two, three, the orbits, around the atoms are discrete, one orbit, another orbit, another orbit, and so on. So the main result of loop quantum gravity is that space is granular. Space itself is granular. So uh, between my hands, uh, again, in, in, at school they tell us there's continuous space. So again, don't believe what they tell us at school. Uh, the, the space, if you keep into account the quantum property of gravity, and if you believe this tentative theory, it can be divided in half, in half, in half, but not forever. At some point, you get to the bottom. You get to the individual grains of space. So this granularity of space, that's a calculation that one does in, um, in loop quantum gravity, um, have a certain size, very small, extremely small, but finite. Which means, if you go back to the, to, to the black hole, that this thing cannot shrink forever, because at some point, the granularity is going to hold it. You finish. You cannot continue shrinking forever. You cannot go to the singularity before something might happen. What is going to happen? Now, second input from quantum mechanics. Um, jumps. The quantum jumps. The quantum leaps. Jumps were at the very beginning of quantum mechanics. They're core in quantum mechanics. Tunnel effect is a jump. Quantum jumps, quantum leaps. Quantum mechanics was born... Um, when in Copenhagen, Niels Bohr uh, made his first mo model of atom and understood that um, the electron to an atom could only um, uh, be in orbit on certain discrete quantized orbits. So an electron could go roughly this way or this way, okay? but it could jump from one to the other. And when it jumps, it emits one photon one grain of, 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 of uh, can jump down or can jump up. If you put some energy, some photon arrive, jump up. And in between, that's the magic of quantum mechanics, is not really like a particle. It's something funny. We don't have a good intuition of what happened from one quantum value to another quantum value. That is quantum jumps. And these quantum jumps can take you from one orbit to a different orbit. So you can view them from one qu classical solution to another classical solution. So the shrinking black hole is like one classical solution. So we go there, it becomes uh, narrower, 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 and maybe it can jump. But to which classical solution? Maybe it can jump to something else. But what, what could happen next? Now, um, the black hole was formed by a star falling into itself. 
We went on the black hole by falling, uh, turning off the engine and letting ourselves fall down. The shrinking of space itself is like falling. So these are all solutions, ice equation, classical, and are falling. What happens if something falls, typically at the end of a fall? It bounces. Okay? And what is what is the what is the trajectory after the fall? Well, this is going down. If you film it going up, it's like filming going down and reversing the film. It's the same, but sort of time reversed, with the velocity reversed. Careful, the acceleration is always down, right? Because it goes faster and faster and faster and faster. Velocity down, acceleration down. When it jumps up, the, the, the velocity is up now, reversed, but the acceleration is still down because it goes slower, 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 slower. Okay, so you change the velocity. Now, the black hole was become uh, longer and longer and longer and, 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 and narrower and narrower. If you change the velocity, you make it bounce, what does it do? Okay, it becomes longer, 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 and then it becomes shorter and shorter and shorter, and it opens up. Now, is there, is there a classical solution of the Einstein equation that describes that? Or is there a certain solution of, Mac, of Newton equation that describes this moving up? Is there a solution of the Einstein equation, classical, that describes um, this peculiar geometry? Something very, very long and narrow that becomes shorter and um, larger, and instead of things going up, things going out? Yes, is white holes. White holes is a solution of Einstein equations, so like black holes, a solution of Einstein equations. So it's a, it's a possible happening compatible with Einstein equation, predicted with Einstein equation, where you have an horizon, but not a horizon where you can only enter. It's an horizon from which you can only come out. And we're inside, you have this enormous um, tube, but instead of becoming longer and narrower, is becoming shorter and opening up, okay? And that's predicted by Einstein equation. So that's, we are back in the terrain which we're confident that could exist. It's okay for what we know about, about nature, okay? The difficult part was the jump. Only the jump, only that particular moment. That's where the Einstein equation do not hold, and, but that's quantum mechanic, that's what Einstein knew the Einstein equation would not hold there, and that's what quantum mechanic tell us it is, it, is, it is possible. So here is the hypothesis of what could happen. Every um, line here, it's one possible moment of time, some slicing of time. Uh, the black hole forms, becomes longer and longer. There is this quantum jump, this quantum tunneling effect also and then you come back. And what is next is a white hole. From the outside, <coughs> um, what do you see? Well, you see the outside of a black hole, and then you see the outside of a white hole. And this is the magic of just classical Einstein theory. The outside of a black hole, that's what, what, that's, this was actually the technical key that allowed us to realize that this is possible. Um, which is strongly counterintuitive, but is co mathematically correct. The outside of black hole is the same thing as the outside of a white hole. From the outside, you don't distinguish. You s always see the surface. Remember that I told you that if I look from the outside, I, I throw a stone, I don't see it falling down. I just see it, you know, slowing, 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 slowing. And if it's a white hole, I throw a stone, I just see it slowing, 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 slowing. Exactly the same, okay? The difference is actually on the surface itself. If I am falling into a black hole, I go through. If there's a white hole, I don't go through, okay? What happened? Well, I mean, uh, time slows down for me, so I, I go very, very fast to the future until the white hole is finished. It's not there anymore. Or until something come out of the black hole and, and, and clashed uh, against me. So outside is the same. Nothing happens in the same. Nothing out, outside. Inside, there is this woo, woo. Okay? That's, uh, the magic is in the jump. 